Sternet can perform a tolerance check on your level loops to validate that they meet a required standard of accuracy. Open the Project Options dialog and switch to the Special tab. The tolerance check is controlled by the level loop check options here at the bottom of the Special Options page. Select your appropriate set of standards, United States National Geodetic Survey, Natural Resources Canada, or Custom Values, and the desired classification. You'll see the formula that will be used based on the selected classification. In this case, for second order class 2 loops, the maximum allowable misclosure will be computed as 0.035 feet multiplied by the square root of the loop length in miles. If your project is in meters instead of feet, the formula will change as appropriate. In this case it would be 8 millimeters multiplied by the square root of the loop length in kilometers. The tolerance check is tied into the level loop check command. When you run a level loop check, if the tolerance check is enabled, the listing file will indicate both the actual vertical misclosure and the maximum allowable vertical misclosure for each loop based on your selected loop classification. The classification is indicated just above, and as you see for each loop we see the error of closure and the error of closure tolerance. In this case, as you can see, everything meets the required accuracy for a second order class 2 loop. If I introduce a false bust into one of my leveling observations, I'm going to increase this by 2 tenths, you'll see that when we run the level loop check this time, Starnet will immediately notify us that the tolerance has been exceeded, and if we examine the listing file, we'll see that the misclosure and these two loops now exceeds the required accuracy.